a special tribute to someone whose advice and support was instrumental in the drive to establish a day of global ceasefire and non-violence on the UN International Day of Peace. And to have that day, of course, fixed in the global calendar, the 21st of September. I met then Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan, back in the year 2000. He kindly allowed our film cameras to document that meeting, which became one of the most important tools we had in creating the ceasefire non-violence day in 2001 with a fixed calendar date, the 21st of September. He was an inspirational leader and a mentor. He died in August 2018. Let's watch a speech now that Kofi Annan made at United Nations headquarters for the United Nations International Day of Peace in 2005, which I was honoured to attend. Ambassadors, messengers of peace, dear friends, peace is a paramount mission of the United Nations. It is the basis of our existence, the essence of our identity, the cause that animates everything we do. 21st of September, the International Day of Peace, is a day on which we ring the bell and reaffirm our commitment to this quest. It is an opportunity to consider how to strengthen our system of collective security and the Global Partnership for Development. It is meant to be a day of global ceasefire when all countries and all peoples stop hostilities for the entire day. And it is a day on which people around the world observe a minute of silence at noon local time. 24 hours is not a long time. But it is time enough for combatants and political leaders to consider the destruction they are visiting on their people and on their lands. It is long enough to look over the barricades and through the barbed wire to see if there is another path. On this International Day of Peace, let us honor those who have suffered from violence and armed conflict. Thank you very much. Legend, an incredible man, the great Kofi Annan.